Hello YouTube, how y'all doing out there? Good morning to you guys. I am up so early. I woke up at four o'clock this morning and could not go back to sleep. So with that being said, I just indulge in some Bible study, Bible reading, and you know, did a little eyeshadow and some pink lip gloss due to I have on this pink head scarf. So I said I just do pink. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, I am sitting here doing a review on the Beam Squad. I, you know, kind of when they first started their um, YouTube channel. You're going to hear some smacking. You're going to hear a lot of smacking. Because I have my little mic here hooked on to my um, house coat. And I'm eating grapes. I didn't want no junk food. I'm trying to withdraw from that junk food. It is so hard when you quarantine. You just indulge in sweets and everything. And I cannot control it. It's so hard to control, you guys. I eat healthy, but also I eat junk food. And I am almost out of grapes because, as you can see, I get this whole bag by myself. My husband didn't have any. He could have if he wanted to, but he didn't, so I will. I would eat it all alone. But anyway, I'm coming on here. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know that um I didn't know anything about no beam squad. I didn't know um a lot about quite a few YouTubers on here that started their YouTube like back in 15 2010, 11, 12, 13, so on and so on, etc. etc. I didn't know. I used to go on YouTube a lot, you know. I started going on YouTube about 2010, so I know that because I wasn't interested in, on YouTube at all. You get what I'm saying? Because I was out at the clubs and hanging with my friends, so YouTube wasn't a thing for me. And I just got into it in 2010. But now it is the most popular thing it's, you know with TikTok, Facebook it used to be Snapchat I don't know if you guys know anything about Snapchat but it used to be Snapchat then here come um, then you have Google which that's not like something you do like YouTube and stuff like that and TikTok Snapchat it's not so these things are totally different. These things you, you pay and all that good stuff. But anyway, let's get started on my review. And it's the um, Bean Squad. Like I said, I uh, feel like something is in my eye. He was surprised Billy with his car. Matter of fact, it said made one year ago. But if it, it made one year ago, look how skinny best friend is. Let me zoom this down some. Let me zoom. Can you guys see it? You gotta just go over there and you can see it better with you with whatever electronic you are. But she was so small and she blew up in one year. Her face is thin and one day I went to turn it on. I was only six years old. She's skinny. She's skinny. So I'm assuming. Having her baby, her little girl, she got big. No, she was bigger then, wasn't she? Hmm. 
But since it's skinny. So. I am not recording. Yes, I am recording. Oh, I have to look down on my time. But. It's something I want you guys to hear. So let me pause my video so I can go and track what I want you to hear on this video. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of where I want to be because I want you guys to hear her story. And like I said, I'm going to show you, or maybe you can hear it. I let you hear it because if I put my phone up here, you can't really quite see it. I'm trying to do my lighting to get it darker, but I can't on this setting. Okay, maybe I can do it on this one. Okay, so let's get it in here. Also, we both from different sides. Like, he's from west side, I was from the east side. And, like, for west side guys, it's, like, forbidden for you guys to be on 6th Ave. But Bay used to, like, catch a jitney when he didn't have a car. He used to get on a jitney, drive, ride down 6th Ave to come That's to the house. That's not working either. Walk through Oak Grove Park. <laughs> and he had so many chances to get his ass jumped. But it's like he didn't ever care. Like, he used to just, just come see me and hang out with me and... Just never made me feel little. And that shit, that really, that really, like, at that time, it made me appreciate him so much because I didn't think, you know, a guy of his standard would do that. You feel me? And I was impressed and I was hum grateful because the way he humbled himself for me. And we went through so much together, you guys, from the time when I was nine months pregnant, the house getting shot up at, and Billy's outside defending us, shooting back. And I didn't know if he was going to even make it out alive. You know, he could have died outside, but he was out there. And to the point where he had, he realized, like, you know what, I got to just get my family out of here. He packed up everything. I didn't even know that he rented a house in Orlando, rented an apartment in Orlando. Like, I didn't even know. Okay. Now, did you hear what she said? Where Billy had to come and see her and she was um pregnant with the first child and the area she lived in was real bad and hood in miami some area in miami is pretty rough and some area is beautiful and safe so he took chances of um going seeing her in the hood and like she said billy um grabbed his nuts and put on his big boy pants and he got his family out of there and she said you know also she stated that she felt she felt like she wasn't worthy I guess of Billy's um, hand and friendship or girlfriend or getting married but he, she said Billy never made her feel small or less than what she was she felt like she will do to living in the area she was living in you know so that's that's a man that, that's a good guy he get a um, a in my book a plus actually a plus even though my a plus don't mean anything but to me it does to a person like that anyway so let's finish and they moved from miami to orlando which that's like um 10 minutes away from where I live at if you hit get on interstate I-4 I stay like 10 minutes away not saying that they stay there I have no idea where they live at I do not know but it's like 10 minutes from Davenport to Orlando roughly with traffic another um 15 or 20 minutes but let's finish this story you guys the house I didn't see nothing he just left because I was a month old at that time so he left, came back with a suburban truck, packed up all my stuff, Messiah stuff, and his stuff. And we left, just took me out of Miami and brought me to Orlando. And it's like a man, only a man does that. A little boy would have been like, we're going to thug it out. Ain't nobody going to chase me out of Miami. That's and right. we probably would have died or something. But he was man enough to know, you know, this is a dangerous situation for me, my dom and my son. That's Let me right. get him out of here. And he ain't acquired nothing from me. Like, he just did it all on his own. Furnished the house and everything. Just moved to the side of Miami. And I know you guys don't know that. 
Like y'all don't even know that we come from we come from the hood, kid. Mm-hmm. Like we are not we not these people now, if you looking at her, if you go back and look at her video, it's like she was kind of hectic. Uh, really didn't want to say they was from the hood, or like she was embarrassed to say they was from the hood. But girl, it's okay. Who's not from the hood? A couple of of us on YouTube is from the hood. Don't get it twisted. You know, I'm from the hood and love it and pride of it. And wouldn't change it for the world. Baby. So let's get back to this story. But we not we we weren't these people who just had good lives. I know I didn't. Mm-hmm. I did not have a good life. I was always moving with my mom, a single mother, moving a lot, always fighting. I did so many things to get money besides uh coochie. I was stealing. See, it's a, she didn't see a coochie. Okay, she wasn't no stripper, I guess, but she said she didn't see a coochie. But hey, good for you, baby. Good for you, chick. And doing the most, you guys. And Billy again is like he his mindset was like we gonna have to stop doing what we doing, you know, cause it ain't right. And me being me, I'm like nah, bro. I ain't stopping. You can stop. I ain't stopping because, you know, I got to get this money. I've always been a hustler. I've always been that way. And for him to tell me, no, nah, we have to stop. We have to do it a different way. And that that changed my life. Like, mm-hmm. I, we would not be here on YouTube today if I didn't change the lifestyle that I'm living. And if Babe didn't, like, kind of put his foot down and say, no, nah, we going to have to change it because it ain't right. I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm so humble for this man. And I just don't even understand the things that he has done for me, like literally, like he's done so much for me, and it's crazy, you guys. It's beyond me. The proposal, like how he surprised me, took me. Y'all don't understand. I would not be the evil that you guys know right now. The, the, the I would not be this person. I would probably be a little hood rat girl, and. I'm just grateful because, like, with me and Billy together, we make the perfect team. We do things for each other. We we calculate moves and we calculate things together, make things, smart decisions for each other in order for us to make better. You guys, um, I'm not crying about this story. I have dry eyes and they water. Every morning I get up, my eyes water, 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 water. So if you're familiar with dry eyes, that's what I have, dry eyes. I'm not crying. I, actually, my eyes not water. They irritated right at the moment. I don't know why, but they irritated. Decisions, and I'm always having his back. He's always having my back, and it's like it's not easy to find somebody like that. And the secrets that this man knows about me, the things that he knows about me, other men could not handle knowing that. You feel me? Like we've always been loyal to each other, and we've always been best friends, and. I just love him so much, kid. I love him so much. He makes me so much. No money. Broke. Broke as hell. Having to do so well. Oh, y'all just don't understand. Y'all really don't understand. I don't think y'all, I, I don't expect y'all to ever understand, but I just want y'all to know that. I'm getting him. I got him this car. I saved my coins. I did not spend on designers or nothing. I, I sacrificed going on a couple trips that I could have gone to. Because I wanted to get Bayless' car. I really had to. I had to see him smile the way he'd been making me smile over and over and over and over all these years. I just had to do something because I haven't surprised him. I haven't. Like, I have not. I've just been receiving all these gifts from him, receiving all this love and appreciation and stuff. And, like, all I do, well, I'm not saying that I don't do enough and that I don't deserve it, but I just feel like I never gifted him something. And okay, we done with that one. She got him the Bentley. Like I said, you go to her channel, you will see it. And he bought her a BMW. So now they're in the process of trying to buy a house due to their past and what happened um, in their past. You get what I'm saying? And Yes, here's another one. Last month, they made a video getting kicked out of the house and stuff. Go and check that out. 
even new car buying a new um house um that's one year ago beam squad four months ago and they got indicted you know i'm not gonna go into that and i don't want to go into that not at all i really don't but anyway you guys i need for you to go and subscribe to my channel hit like comment and notification button don't forget to share no smash that button smash it smash it don't smash it like break your phone but just put a little love to it and smash it okay for your girl Burnett perkins for me do it for me go and subscribe go and subscribe we only ate black food for 24 hours bean squad snitch for the low i think they're just something they they just did a blob on but um did you guys go and check out for over 75 years people have the um with... oh, what was i about to say oh Patton squad where melinda bought that um fish oil from amazon and put it on her and done like the gang then don was telling yaya to take care of herself and don was giving yaya that eye that melinda you know body part was kind of fishy you know what i'm saying but it was just a little prank it was just a little prank that's all and i just was i was checking out um I was checking out on, um, what's her name? Dr. Heavenly has a YouTube channel. And yes, I do go and check out her YouTube channel as well. You know what I'm saying? So, Dr. Heavenly, if you kind of like stroll and see Burnett Perkins, or you see this face, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Now, I really, I'm trying to hurry up and end this video and not jump into another subject because then I want to do a whole video on that. So, oh, that Popeye chicken looks so good. You guys, how are you, how y'all doing out there? And I know I said it at the beginning of my video, but I'm wondering how is it everyone out there taking care of their self, you know, doing a routine or washing your hands and stuff and wearing the mask. I've seen some people wear gloves when they go into the grocery store, you know, because they don't want to be touching different items and because it, it, someone could have the C-19 cough in their hands and place it, you know, put it on, you know, stuff. You get what I'm saying? But most important, you know, just take care of yourself and drink plenty of water. Don't indulge in tea, coffee, and beer, wine, liquor, Kool-Aid, sodas, and take a lot of water. Water right now is our best friend. Water always been our best friend, and water will continue to be our best friend. So with that being said, myself, I had a, my Yeti, and it's somewhere. I don't know where, probably in the other room. But now I, I just decided to say, hey, I'm going to carry this. Because I like water, my water to be room temperature. I like ice cold water, but there's no ice in him. But I like my water room temperature. So I just want to fill this bad boy up. This is what I would be drinking pretty much all day. I think this, like, this might be eight ounces. So I am going to drink about four or five of these today. Flush out my kidneys and stuff and make sure I don't you know, get sick with the c19 and pretty much stay in the house <clears throat> i may go sit on the porch and you know around the swimming pool and relax listen to some music or whatever or i may lay in bed and look at netflix or prime video you know or get on my computer and do some stuff i'm thinking about i'm thinking 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 so hard about writing a children's book <coughs> Excuse me. Thinking about writing a child, a children's book. And it's going to be pertaining to my grandkids. You get what I'm saying? Oh. 
Oh, there's a lot of water. Let me show you the container. Oh my goodness. This is the thing it came in. Yeah, I think this is pretty much eight. Isn't this eight, you guys, you think? And it came in this. And I'm gonna sh show you. Okay, it's in there. Oh, and it has this little zip in the back. But this is the little thing I carry. You know, just threw it over my shoulder and stuff. You know. I think I'm, this is going to be the one I carry in my car. This will be my car container. But, yeah, drink you some water, you guys. Eat healthy. You know, we got to take care of ourselves because, um, this C-19 is getting worse and worse and worse. And they saying that it don't like heat. But here in Florida, like yesterday, it was 90 something. And today is Saturday. And it's going to be 90 something today as well. So stay, you know, do the distant thing. That's very important. Do the distant thing. And wash your hand. That's that's another one thing you have to do. And sneeze, you know. Do that. Don't do this. And then go to touch and stuff. You know. So let's be safe out there, you guys. Because I want to continue to come to your, ch your channel and see your blogs. And I want you guys to come and see mine as well. Okay? We got to be safe. This will end soon. We don't know when, we don't know what time, what day, but once they get it under control, it, it, it'll be taken care of. It's not going to end like, like that, okay? You know, we all know that a, a virus, you get a 24-hour virus, and it's over with. This is a, pretty much a dangerous virus. You get what I'm saying? It's dangerous. So, if, you know, a lot of people passing away. These, you know, used to be just, they were saying elders now. And then they say it just was white people. But no, it's hitting babies. It's hitting the color people. People, you know. Guys, this virus don't have a color or a I mean, it has a name, but it don't have a color. And it do have a color because they show it on the Google site. But it's just like a bullet. Don't have a name for you. It just get inside your body with whoever you're around. So, and I'm, I want to share this also. And I had to get somewhere and sit down and think about it. I did... I did an application with Walmart and I did um went to the job fair, did the interview, did my paperwork, came home, got on the computer and finished doing the rest of my paperwork and my background check and everything came clear. Went to um an orientation. And they needed two form of ID. You know, they always wanted a two form of ID. And, and I only had one. I couldn't, I cannot find my social security card. I cannot find my birth certificate. That would have been the two that I needed. One of those two. I cannot find neither one of those. So I kind of like was upset about it. Like, you know, what's going on? Where's, I, I just knew where I put my social, my birth certificate. Went there, it wasn't where I thought it was because I had to do my driving license over. And I remember putting it in my car and I have it in an envelope, in a folder somewhere in this house. I don't know where, this is not a small house. So I kind of, you know, got upset and like, God, oh, you know, God, what's going on? I mean, you, get, you, you got me this far, so what's going on? Why you let me get this far in, 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 now I'm stuck. I'm I'm stuck. I can't find the things I need. And I kind of, I got upset about it and 
tear, you know, one or two tears drop down because it, it takes a lot for me to cry. And, and once I start, if I start crying and then God starts speaking to me and I stop. I only, like, I shed probably about two or three tears every time, no matter what my situation may be. I would shed two or three um, tears, and I stopped. I don't even, like, really, really cry, 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 cry. Last time I really, when I can say the last time I cried, I was going to say my mother passed, but I'd be lying. But, and I went, the lady called me, the guy. When I went to the um, orientation, he was like, no, you need two form of ID. You got your social, your birth certificate. I said, well, let me go and grab my birth certificate. Okay. Came home. Thought I had it. Well, I thought I had it. it don't, it's not there. Can't find it anyway. I put it like that. Can't find it. But I'm going over. I'm 26. But anyway, so I, the lady called me, Miss Brenda called me from um, Walmart. She was like, um, I want to set you up for orientation for Monday. And I just told her the truth. I said, well, Miss Brenda, I said, I spoke with um, Robert at um, the first orientation. And um, I didn't have all my um, proof, my social, my birth certificate. <clears throat> she was like, well, I'm just going to have to um, put your application on, um, put it back on hold. Until you can find your um, stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay then. So me again, I'm looking for my stuff again. And still cannot find it. Went online. About 5 o'clock this morning. And once two or three sites trying to charge me. They have it. So I can print it out. I have it on my phone. I can print it out myself. You get what I'm saying? I'm, so I, I feel like that's a scam. I don't know. But I did get to the correct site, and the site is down. So I have to wait till Monday to reapply for a social security card. And she did. She was so sweet about it. She was like, well, once you get your ident identification stuff together, she said, give me a call. She said, we'll get your site back up. And I said, okay, thank you. But I want, I, you know, I want to work. I love working. I love working. I want to work due to it's boring sitting in the house. And then I know this quarantine stuff going on too. But I think that's a sign of maybe God telling me, hey, I'm not ready for you to go there yet. Because I see something you don't see. I see somebody that may have it and going to cough on you or sneeze or whatever. That just me, y'all. That just me thinking like that. But you know, they, you know, people always say, you see, God see things you do not see. So God sees something that I don't see. He said, peace be still and be patient. So with that being said, I'm still looking for my stuff. But I'm just going to wait it out. I'm just going to wait it out. I do want to work though, but I guess I just sit here. I mean, I'm blessed to have money. The money that I do have to pay the things I need to pay, but I guess I'll just sit it out until God tell me otherwise. Until then, I'll be making YouTube videos, so y'all go subscribe to my channel, hit like, comment, and notification button, and don't forget to share, share, and care. Do y'all see my little fake mode? I'm not trying to be sassy. Mm -hmm. Trying to be sassy at some six o'clock in the morning. I got up and Put on a little lip blemish and a little. You can't even see this on here. You can see this one and that a little bit. But anyway, you guys, I'm about to get out of here. Live, love, laugh, peace, love, and hair grease. And y'all have a blessed Saturday. I'm about to get her to look at me some Buzz Bunny. You know, when you, I'm going to say this real quick, then I'm going to get out because I'm trying to burn up my little last little minute. But you remember on Saturday, how I used to get up and look at Buzz Bunny and eat you some cornflakes? Man, was that the bomb back then? You try to beat, beat your other siblings up so you can get the TV and look at cartoon. I used to do it every Saturday morning, get up for my two brothers and fix, I, I fix my cereals and I run in there and I get, grab the remote to the TV and Make sure I have it and I hold it all the way to 12 o'clock. Now, if the 12 o'clock over with, then they can have it because all my cartoon on went and gone. But I want to say peace.